Eagles fans are a little hoarse today. I know that you said you are. They hit the streets from South Philly to City Hall and into the Northeast. They sang the fight song, shouted the Eagles chant, and danced in the streets. And with less than two weeks now until the Super Bowl, Eagles fans are scrambling. That's right. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Madeline Wright reports from Montgomery County on what fans need to keep in mind when looking for tickets to the game and getting to Arizona. With the NFC Championship behind them, the Eagles have their sights set on the Super Bowl. Judy Milby would love to be there in person. I'm hoping for me that there's some lucky way I make my way to Arizona and I'm there sideline rooting them on. Jaina Tidwell, spokesperson for AAA, recommends using a travel agent to book your trip to avoid stress and to save time and money. She says a travel agent is your best advocate if something goes wrong. There's limited inventory of hotels, car rentals, uh, and flights. So if you are seriously planning a trip to Arizona to see the Eagles play in the Super Bowl, you need to act quickly and make those decisions. AAA is also offering several travel packages to the Super Bowl. The company was busy Monday answering phone calls from fans wanting to head to the game. If travelers can be flexible, whether that's the day of the week that you travel, the time of day you're traveling, or even the airport that you're departing from and arriving into, uh, changing those few things around could bring the price of that airline ticket down. As far as getting into the stadium, AAA members are eligible for a discount on Super Bowl tickets. As of this morning, uh, the cheapest Super Bowl ticket available at AAA tickets was $5,500, and they move upwards to almost $40,000. With tickets in such high demand, Tidwell says there are bound to be scams. To protect yourself, limit your business deals to reputable companies, and use a credit card so you have the option of stopping a payment. In King of Prussia, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.